Hello and welcome to some off satisfactory. Uh, I should note before we really get going, <laughs> I bit my tongue this morning. So if it sounds like I've got a swollen tongue, it's because I've got swollen tongue. <laughs> well, I may, I may not do quite as much talking as I usually do. It's uh, a bit of a discomfort. Um, right. What are we doing this week? We're last week. I obviously finished off. I might pull that down actually, because you can get a hint of what's going on uh, as I explain it. Basically, um, last week I ended a short series where I got the final achievement that I hadn't got in Factorio, uh, which was the "There Is No Spoon" achievement. Uh, and this week, as you can possibly see from chaps like him, uh, I am going to be doing a new series where I use a few minor mods. We'll run through what they are in a minute. Um, but basically the idea, it's going to be a full playthrough. I've not, you know, pre-done the map or anything like that. Um, but basically I'm going to try and make a, f a factory. It's actually going to be a series of factories. I'm going to do a sort of factory town approach. Uh, that are, as much as I can make them in Factorio, aesthetically pleasing. Um, exactly what that means, I haven't fully decided yet. Because, <laughs> as I say, there'll be a few streams first where we just go through the game. Um, I was hoping it might show you. I don't know whether these are scripted or not. I always thought they were scripted. Um, because occasionally when you do some of the mods, and that's why I showed you the, the biters, um, basically the mod assets get included in in it and as I say I don't know whether that's because it's a script and therefore it substitutes them in or the people who do mods just re-record the, the videos they seem to be so similar it's a bit weird if they are recording the videos and that that's a lot of effort to try and recreate it um, I was hoping it might show you because there is one that really shows it where uh, the biters are overrun in the, the base. but uh, Right, so what mods are we going to use? So we're going to do a brand new map. It's going to be a full playthrough. Um, so the start of it will be quite um, vanilla uh, in, a, in that sense. Oh, here you go. So we've got some extra. This is the one I was talking about. So you see we've got some turrets, basically. I said this must be new, though, because this isn't... Um, and she's got laser turrets and, and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, what about you? No, this is fairly default. So I think they, they must do new ones, basically. But some of them look like they're recreations of the, the other ones. So uh, there's a couple of quality of life mods that I've added on. Um, but otherwise, it's mostly to do with trying to give uh, a sort of a more interesting, more aesthetic sort of a look. So we've got to-do list. Um, that's going to be useful more for me rather than, um, I think, anything... <laughs> the stream wise but it's just so I can note that because this series is kind of gonna kind of go across Christmas to start with so there's a good chance I'll forget what I'm doing so I'm going to try and use that to remember basically um, next one there is additional turrets basically what this one gives is um, as it says it adds more turrets and shells um, I've also done another one down the bottom here which is modular turrets there you go. So we've got all sorts of new turret options, basically. Uh, and part of the reason for that is because I have also turned on armoured biters. So we're going to get a lot more difficult biters to deal with if, if we didn't have more and different turrets. Um, I have not turned rampant biters on. Um, I don't think I've even downloaded it actually I may have to do that because I don't know how wimpy they're gonna be because we're gonna basically play a train world um, so if it doesn't make these any more interesting uh, then we may add rampant rampant on uh, what else have we got then so we got advanced high solar high resolution so um, an advanced solar that is so basically this adds extra solar panels as you see there color they're differently colored and they're more powerful, basically. What that's going to do, they're actually each one, and I've not changed the settings. What that's going to do, they're actually more expensive. So one of those is like 10 times more powerful 
but it costs 11 solar panels plus some extra bits. So, And that's how it scales up. And basically all I'm after that for is just avoiding the need to like cover half the map in solar panels. So we'll get solar power going um, for some of our factories, uh, but you know, we won't be using default solar panels so that I can just plop a few of these down in a small patch and it gets loads of energy for that factory, but they're really expensive to make, so I'm not really cheating in a sense. Uh, in fact, the opposite, it's more expensive. Alien Biomes is on so that we get a bit more um, varied terrain. Um, uh, and obviously that's the high res one. We've got our eight, um, Armoured Biters, Beautiful Bridge Railway. So this gives me the option, whether I use it or not, uh, will be uh, TBD. But this gives me the option of putting bridges across lakes. So as I say, we're going to go with a rail map, which has lots of big areas of water. So this gives me the option of having some um, bridges for trains going across those. We won't... I'm not going to use it to try to exploit it as such. You know, I'm not going to have all of my trains on water so that the biters can't attack them. But um, it's just so that it'll look like a real world where, you know, you might have uh, railway bridges. Um, bullet trails. I don't know if this really works with the others, but that's just to show the bullet trails, which is a bit prettier. I've used that one before with normal, normal thinning. I've got the calculator on. Uh, also then cargo ships. So the other option instead of trains there's also another reason for having this is that building from prior experience building the bridges across the right across big stretches of water is actually fairly difficult unless you've got some way of being on the water and so even if i don't do actual cargo ships what this does also add is um you get oil um patch you know like deep sea oil wells basically um but even if it doesn't it just gives me a boat basically and then i can you know lay down the rails it also includes actually they sort of work quite well together because this does have like um uh, bridges basically i mean this what this does basically really what it's doing is that the ship is a skin train um and you lay down rails over the water and you can actually it doesn't it doesn't do collision detection with the boats so you can actually have land boats where basically you land fill in um, where the trains are, you know, where the path is for the for the boats, and then they they basically just drive around on the on the. Like, I'm not going to do that. It's just, you know, it's nothing. It's not as, as weird as it might seem. Uh, color coding. So this is how we're going to get the aesthetic thing going. Um, so we're going to have lots of um, color concrete options and light lamp options and all that sort of stuff. So I'll try and uh, make it a bit more pretty. Obviously, the big one is Dectorio. This is the only one that. We could really be classified as um, game changing. That adds even more options around uh, things on. It also lets me do like coloured um, or um, landfill that is actually the terrain. Uh, they, are, they have costs, it's not free. Um, uh, and then we got text plates so that I can potentially put down like signs effectively at, at my factories. Um, and also holographic signs in case they look okay with that in combination um, and then these are just sort of variations of, of the, the signs basically um, inlaid lamps I really like this mod this is uh, a nice little one it's basically rather than the bulb like the bulb on the surface it turns it into an inlaid lamp and it looks really good on concrete I think um, and you know those other ones give us other concrete options basically uh, chaos power I've added this one in case I want to use it I'm not sure if I will I have a thought that I'm going to have all of the factories um, like independently powered. And so one of the things this gives me that's quite interesting gives you a diesel generator. So the idea of having like an oil factory um, that's powered by diesel generators might be interesting. Um, uh, we've then got landfill painting, which is again, you know, to do with, um, you know, putting on landfill and stuff. Max rate calculator in case I want to start doing some of that. I don't know that I'm really going to build a big optimised base. It's going to be quite spread out is the thing really. Obviously modular turrets I mentioned. Nanobots, give this a go. Um, this is more a sort of quality of life one really. Um, excuse me. <coughs> I shouldn't have done that into mic. Sorry about that. Um, 
yeah, I'm going to use RSO. So we've got, you know, um, alien biomes in com combination with RSO. Uh, I quite like how RSO distributes resources um, in that it does really big patches, you know, far apart. Hopefully that will work in combination with everything else. We'll have to see. I've no problem. If we find that the map is a bit rubbish of doing a new map uh, in the first few episodes. Um, I've added this one in. This is one of my favourite complaints of the game, that the the bots have pathetic batteries and basically can't do anything. Um, so this gives you an infinite research to... I think it's infinite eventually, but it's like upgraded batteries basically for bots so they can do more stuff. Um, it doesn't cheat in terms of, you know, you still have to power them. It's just that, you know, when they travel that tiny distance and run out of power, that gets around it. I may end up adding on, like, extra p more powerful power generators for the power armor, um, because it'll be a bit silly if we can only support, you know, five robots or something. Um, shield projector is, uh, again, possibly, I don't know how bad the biters are going to be, uh, but this should be quite cool, basically, and it does, I think it looks quite good. It's not not the prettiest here, honestly. Solar walls, just for a bit of variety. Uh, then I've obviously got squeak through on, uh, and there's your more text plates. Vehicle snaps, so that when I'm driving around, I don't crash into all this base that I'm making. Um, the warehousing mod, not sure if I'm going to use that one or not. Uh, and then water fill, obviously. So there are a couple I couldn't get to work. Uh, there is a, um, well, there are a few different, I was trying to get a few of these on the go different concrete things but they all seem to clash a bit and it they don't work properly so i found the combination of the ones that sort of do um the other one i wanted was asphalt roads this looks really good but it's an old mod that's um like the uh, original mod uh, um oh it says it's the same mod are they that's odd but yeah it didn't get updated basically um and somebody did a version that did but I can't get it to work properly. It doesn't. You can get the actual main asphalt, asphalt rather, but you can't get. You see the lines on that, which is what makes it look good. You can't get it to do that. It interprets them as landfill, and that may be a clash with Dectorio or something. But I don't know. Oh, I got an update. I thought I'd done all some. <laughs> this is one of the um, problems of modding. It's going to restart the game, so we'll get a black screen for a minute. Um, some of them get updated quite a lot, which is good, but um, it does mean every time you play <laughs> or even load up the game. I mean, I checked them all yesterday, so that's been updated in the meantime, which I say is good, but can also be a bit of a pain in the bum. Particularly since I've got so many on, so many individual ones, that it takes quite a while to load up. Um, I'm stuttering, it's because basically my CPU isn't able to cope with um, with doing everything yeah so say hopefully i'm gonna set up i mean hopefully a bit prettier than this but we've got shotgun turrets and all sorts so we're getting to it and i'll i say it'll be a fairly normal playthrough um until i get to the point where i want to do a, a proper you know warehouses uh, a factory towns approach uh, so we want to do single player uh, new game i want to do obviously the default and then we'll set select rail world to start uh, and then I'm going to fiddle with it a little bit. Um, should we turn the preview on? Unfortunately, when I do the... I mean, there's some tweaks I know I want to do, so we'll just do them. Uh, but when you do the preview, um, again, my PC can't kind of do both streaming and the preview. So we'll only do that once I've done... We'll do, we'll do, I'll tweak it first a little bit. And basically, it's because I want to bump up the richness. Not a lot, but a bit um, on these... Uh, those two in particular, probably uranium as well, and I don't, I'm happy to keep them relatively low, or, you know, default, um, so if no, you've never seen these before, basically, the frequency, um, is like the density of patches, so this is Dictorio, uh, not Dictorio, um, RSO does change these a few few things, um, but basically this is how many the patches there are, you know, per unit distance. So if you go lower, there's fewer patches, you know, they're further apart, and if you go higher, then they're closer together. Um, 
The size is literally the physical size of the pouch, so it's partly determining how much material is on it. Richness is how much how, the density in the patch. So each you know square of of ore patch will have more stuff in it. So what I'm trying to go for is a fairly stable world where I can have a great big ore patch, um, but very few of them, so forcing me to do trains. Um, and basically, then each patch is worth having in terms of you know for a long period of time. Um, that's what I'm sort of going for there. Uh, oh, map type. Oh yeah, no, no, that's not what I to do. So water, it has scaled them up with more coverage. That's what we'll fiddle with um, when we do the, the thing. I do want to turn trees down a little bit. And I think you have to scale them up. Um, and cliffs, I want to turn right down in terms of frequency. So we do. I'm gonna I'm gonna play with cliffs on this map. I normally turn them off. Uh, continuity, I'm not gonna fiddle with. That's like how continuous they are. So when it draws them on, does it draw them as a long, 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 long line, or are they little dashes of of cliffs? So we'll just leave that as as bias. We'll fiddle with these if I don't like the looks of the map. If you see what I mean. Enemy-wise, this is what Railworld does. It basically turns off enemy expansions. So once you've cleared an area, they're gone. So we'll leave it like that. Um, I can't remember if it does fiddle with the, with the evolution, but we'll just leave it as is. What I do want to do is increase the starting size, just because as a stream, I'm going to be, um, you know, talking a lot and, you know, blathering on as in my usual way. Um, so basically, if I push that up, it gives me a bit more time. They're obviously not going to expand into the territory, so it's only really when we get pollution hitting them that they'll attack. Um, so, you know, we won't have to deal with that at all. This is particularly useful if you're doing a raw world, and it's why they turn it off, because it means that um, basically, you know, you can clear an area and you don't have to... It's the, tra it's the trains thing, basically, that, you know, trains, when they hit behemoth biters, don't kill them. Um, and that if you have recolonization, you'll get behemoth bite eventually, you know, get behemoth biters, which will kill your trains. And it's all just a bit tedious. Um, so, yeah, I do want to push. I'm not going to put it up to 600. We'll put it up to about 300 and see what that looks like. Uh, we're not going to restrict any of this or change any basic settings. We will have pollution on. I think. Yeah. OK, so let's see what this map looks like. I say this will get very crunchy in terms of the stream because my PC just can't just can't cope basically generating the preview. Um, one of the things I would say with Alien Biomes, it adds all of this stuff and it does look good. And I think to some extent, I wish um, I don't think quite as mad as this, but I wish sort of the default had more weird stuff in it because it just looks too much like Earth to me. Um, when the whole point is it's not Earth. But Alien Biomes goes a bit mad where, um, in my opinion, where there's too much detail in it. So we'll scale it, basically, to make it look less like that, if you see what I mean. So we'll make the, the areas of land bigger. Because at the moment, you know, if this is meant to be snow terrain, then, you know, it's not, it doesn't make sense, if you see what I mean. Um... So what we should be able to do uh, is, oh, it's under, see that one? I always get this wrong. Um, I think it's, oh, no, no, well, what I can do, well, uh, terrain type. That's not too loud, is it? No. Let's see, I think if I scale it, what I'm after. Is that better? I think I might turn... Can I cl turn cliffs down further? No, I, I will leave them like that. So what does this... If I slam this the other way... Me, is that is that no difference at all? So this is all sort of like that. If I do that, 
that's not radically different, is it, really? I wonder what the bias does then. Constant offset to apply. To what? So let's turn it up to point 0.2 then. What does that do? It doesn't appear to be doing anything. Or maybe they are a bit bigger? Let me turn it down and see what the effect of that is. Yeah, that looks a little crinklier, so I think maybe if we end up like that. What does the moisture one then do? I think it just changes the type. Is that getting more water in? Honestly, don't know <laughs> what these settings are. That looks less sort of like it looks more uniform in patches. So we'll try that. Um, okay. So what we want, what we do want to do, I've already scaled that up. So if we bump up the scale and coverage, what do we get? I'm not a massive fan of this particular map, so I'm just trying to experiment with. With what it looks like. So it's fairly decent build area. Okay. What about tree patches? Okay. Now we don't, it's not showing any biters. So if I change that down. because that's one of the things RSO fiddles with and RSO doesn't work with the preview because you can't, you know, so there aren't any copper and iron patches but there will be when we start the game yeah, it's just not showing them because they're you can set it to, was it 400 or 300? to include biters or not in the RSO algorithm um We'll give that a go then, because this is you can usually tell where your start point is, because it's got like a tiny patch of of water basically. Uh, but we'll try a few more seas. I'm not a massive fan of this structurally. So it'll be a bit crunchy with the stream. Um, while I'm doing this, because there's just not enough grunt in my PC. I quite like that, actually. It looks looks fairly organic, if you see what I mean. These two have, I mean, they have they have modifiers like the normal terrain, but I can never remember what they do. Yeah, let's go. Let's just give this a go, and I say if it if it isn't rubbish, we'll come back and if it is rubbish, we'll just do a re a re roll basically. So is that everything I wanted to fiddle with? Because I just wanted to increase those richnesses. And we've done that. Yeah. Okay. Let's give that a go. Oh, they're great. Yes. <laughs> you don't fall over, are you? <laughs> there we go. Bang bang. There we go. So, uh, as I say, um. Uh, we have RSO on, so we'll get some gigantic patches in our area anyway. What I really wanted to do is try and work out... In fact, let's go and see... Before we really start, where are the, where are the aliens? And we just head off in one direction. Yeah, so I'm, I'm doing a whole range of mods. Um, including... Alien biomes, which is one I like. I think it goes. I was mentioning before. I think it goes a bit nuts with. It does too much. 
like different terrain. Um, so I tend to try and get it to be more big areas of the same stuff. Apology if, if if I sound a bit weird. I was saying earlier I I bit my tongue earlier in the day. It's a, it's a bit swollen and sensitive, so it makes it a little difficult to talk normally. Are we going to find any aliens? They could be quite a long way away because we obviously set it to four hundred, and it has the other other things, but you can usually find them if uh, if you just sort of walk in the straight straight line. Eventually. This isn't one of the terrains where it's slow. It's just I think it's just we are that slow. To start with. Okay, so they're a long way away, obviously. Because we're multiple screens away. Okay. So you can usually sort of just run into them if you go about a screen's worth away uh, for sort of default settings. So we'll just sort of run back, see if we find any, because I kind of don't want them in this area at all, which is obviously why I set that a bit higher. But you never quite know with RSO. Okay. <laughs> For either pain. It's not, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not agony or anything. It's just, um, well, like everyone's bitten their tongue, haven't they? It's uh, just that annoying thing. Yeah, so we don't encounter them. So they're obviously a bit further away. Right, so we'll get, we'll get cracking then. Um, basically expecting this to be a fairly vanilla playthrough to start with um, but I say we will get into the whole you know it's basically the aesthetic stuff will really kick in when we get into um into a stage where we've unlocked a lot more research. Oh, these have got coal in, have they? I'm even playing with cliffs on. That's probably a mistake. <laughs> Rhyme up something. No, oh, these got coal in. That's annoying. Okay, I'll go and mine some coal then. Right. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot when you do it. Right. So you're kind of ramping up for Christmas now, Grim. Don't know if you. I've got my booster jab um, after this stream. Because uh, quite keen not to miss Christmas again, because I um, was a bit of a victim of the whole last-minute lockdown. Because um, my family's a, a fair distance away. Oh, I didn't grab the. I always forget that they put that stuff in there. Uh, let's put in. In fact, let's do five. One, two, three, four, five. Do that. Go and grab the stuff out there. That spaceship. They can't have yours after till after Xmas. Okay. Is that a sort of work restriction or? Oh, you mean your booster? Sorry. Don't know what you mean there. <laughs> That's uh. They've been a bit 
I've been found it a bit confusing, if I'm totally honest, whether... Oh, is there nothing in there? Yeah. Whether... In fact, I've not got alt on, have I? I always forget that it turns that off when you restart. But yeah, that a bit bit confusing as to whether you can have it or not. Um, but then I got a I got an email, you know, specifically inviting me sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it's been a bit confusing as to whether. Whether you can have it or not, if I'm honest. Okay, pop these down. Oops. Ah, why has that got a... Not sure why that had a... A thing on... Anyway, oh... Chunk away. Get some more iron. Got my elite speedrunner skills to rely on now. And pop that there. He says he's not having grabbed enough coal. Oh, late September, okay. Yeah, because I say, initially they were like, well, you can't have the booster until you've... Let me know if that's a bit loud, by the way. I fiddled about with the audio. Um, I'm finding it a bit loud, but that's because I think I've got my headphones turned up a bit high. Yeah, initially they were like, you can't have it for six months, and then it was like, well, I guess when on, uh, this Omicron thing happened, they were like, well... Okay, let's step up the, you know, the jabs, as it were. I don't quite know why they haven't been jabbing kids. That seems a bit strange, that. But they seem to have held back on that. Uh, another one. Okay, a bit more, Carl. Okay, let's get a copper one going. Oh, all right, let's get a stone one going. Since this is, appears to be stone. Uh, did you do that? Yeah, you did that. Okay, pop that in there. And there. Right, yes, so. Let's get copper as well. And in fact, we need some more coal. Going to do that. Going to try and leave the spaceship and actually make a thing of it, as it were. There is a risk with how I've set the, the things up that... Excuse me. That actually... There'll be no point building anywhere else like because these are quite big patches because of how I've said it 1 million 1.2 million we could bob we could finish the game with that that's nowhere you know no nowhere near a problem to finish the game with that sort of resource um so I've kind of got uh it's sort of the, I'd say it was the problem with RSO it's sort of it is biased towards that big starting area thing but the next resources will be miles away, which is good. So I'll just have to, you know, go and um, uh, you know find some more patches, just you know, for the sake of it, in a sense. So we want two more of these, ideally. Like that. Let's top you up again. And now you're out. Da 
so we've got 100 and odd there, so we should have... Uh, you see, this is this is one of the mods I've added, the burner generator. It's interesting it makes that available from the beginning. I thought that might be uh, a bit later. But yeah, so this, this burner generator is, is one of the mods. Basically, it literally, it basically takes out the need for water. So you don't actually have to, oops, you don't have to um, put water into them. Um, but does it actually give the numbers? Max output. You see, but it only outputs uh, 500 kilowatts per burner generator. Um, so it's only half the the thing. So that consumes 1.8 megawatts and obviously converts it into two, enough steam for two um, of them. So you can get, actually get 1800, whereas this consumes two megawatts um, and only outputs 500. So it's really inefficient. Um, so I probably won't use it because I mean it's more. I think it's more for when you've done. What I say, what I'm thinking with this is I'll do like separate power generation for each factory eventually. Um, so maybe that will be one I'll use at the coal factory or something, or like plastic or something like that, where all I'm doing is bringing in coal, or we've got a gigantic coal patch, and we'll use a bur the burner generators to fuel that. It will make it really dirty and really angry. You know, make the biters really angry. Um, and therefore, that's you know, we'll then have you know defenses to defend against that. Um, so for now, we'll just stick with for the sort of default, you know, normal boiler stuff. We need power poles, don't we? We need uh, inserters, uh, chests. Let's see if we can find some trees to punch. In fact, actually, let's top these up first. Okay, <laughs> mega base. No, we're definitely not going to that. I'm going to do a mega another mega base series, but like a long time off. I'll do a um. I'll do the series. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do them in parallel. So I'll do like Saturdays or something will be this aesthetic series, and then Sunday I'll start doing the um. I don't know if I want to call it base in a book, but the, you know, like coming up with standard blueprints for myself, you know, something I should have done um, ages ago. Um, but that other one won't start till like well after Christmas. Um, but yeah, apparently, um, in terms of the kids being affected, yeah, I mean, generally, I mean, yes, they are um, less susceptible to bad outcomes, shall we say, but it's still not. But not to the extent of it being, um, you know, safe for kids to have it. Um, and in particular, um, well, I mean, you'll know, <laughs> having kids, um, they pass they pass germs around like nothing, you know. Um, I mean, at where I work, there's a few people have have had it now, um, and every one of them. They got it via their kids. Um, you know, it was the kids that, you know, obviously passed it between them. And as I say, they weren't, you know, as you say, they they weren't particularly badly affected. Why am I getting rocks when what I'm really after is trees? Because I'm an idiot, that's why. Where are trees? So some over there. Oh, there's some down here. Okay. Oh, there's some dead trees over here. Marvellous. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, to me that seems to be a more sensible thing to... Uh, particularly, I mean, like, you know, my um, family arrangements are fairly typical, I think, in that, you know, elderly relatives um, look after the kids type of thing. Um, not, you know, in the family, as it were, that's... 
you know, happens with sort of, you know, both sides of family and that. So you're effectively putting the people who are most likely to have caught it and have it, but probably not fully experienced the symptoms, um, next to the people who are most likely to be you know, badly affected by it. So uh, it seems to me that it would have been sensible to get, you know, get more of them vaccinated, really. Certainly when, you know, when it got to that point where, you know, like 80% of people were vaccinated, they should have probably started some, you know, kid vaccination programs, but they didn't really seem to. Yeah. I'm sure they kind of know what they're doing. But yeah, so I'm getting mine because, let's say, last year I had to just cancel, cancel Christmas, basically, and to stay home which was not not great really would have rather caught up with the family etc um need an offshore pump don't i there we go we might i might chuck a couple of these in does it tell me it yeah why does that not it didn't tell me how much power i get out of them okay uh, can I make? I cannot make a lab. I'll set the power up anyway. So I'll just put it here, I think. Or would it be more sensible? Yeah, we'll, we'll have the power going out here. I think. So we want a bit of a space so we can get some um, belts through. And then I usually go. Two lots to start with, and our poles here and well, let's do them there, and there, and one there. Inserters and boxes. Does that give me room? Am I going to be able to fit in? Oops. So if that was there, yeah, that'll fit, won't it? Right, so, uh, what do I need to do? I need to put a bit of coal in there. Bit of coal in there. And then, oh, I've put all of my coal in there. <laughs> and feed a bit of coal in. There we go. So I might put some of these in. How big are they? As well. More just to see what they look like, really. Is that one square or... I think it's four squares, is it? Yeah, okay. Uh, at least it's animated, I guess. Right, let's put a row of them, or start a row eventually up there. Huh. Right, yes. More stuff. Yes, yeah, so the Dectorio is one of the mods. Um, if I just get... So I've got quite a few on, uh, mostly minor mods. So we have got things like Nanobots, so we'll get them up and running as soon as we can, really. But, um, you know, I've got... So that's the landscaping thing from Dectorio, and I've got uh, various... Um, Things to give me coloured walls and um, coloured gravel, and this lets you clear consume, you know, things. But I've also got things like um, uh, cargo ships and um, uh, train bridges on. Um, I've got all sorts of turrets. I've one of the one um, well, it doesn't relate to research, research, but there's like the armoured biters mod. Um, Oops. Uh, yeah, the armored biters mod, so that will give us a bit more, of, hopefully, a bit more of a challenge. I haven't, I've considered putting rampant on as well, but I'm just sort of hoping the, like the bump up from uh, default biters, um, in um, armored biters will be enough. 
because I'm, you know, pollution's on. There's no ex expansion is off because it's like a rail world basically. Um, right, so I need to make a lab or indeed two. We'll make the labs. Um, because I'm gonna have to work around the cliffs, aren't I? It's already quite polluted. Where do we want to put initial smelting? I mean, this might work here. And I'll bring the iron and copper and that and stone around that way, as it were. Feed it in there. Yeah, let's do that. So if we put the labs here... And that's kind of not in the way of the power. Right, so, in that case, if I put that there, that there, plop you in, that's in. Yeah, that there, and then we run down this way. So, put the labs over here somewhere. Right. Automation. Coal. Oh. I didn't make the, the beakers, did I? In fact, isn't that... I already know that needs to be a bit further over, doesn't it? Right. So, uh, I need to make the beakers. I watched the 10k. Uh, sorry, I watched the factory speedrun yesterday. Eight players, less than an hour to launch a rocket. Wow! <laughs> so there are like, I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's a dumb question in a sense, but there are like um, team-based ones, I assume. Then I so say it makes sense because it's multi got multiplayer in the game, but. Are they just like um, the same, you know, requirements as it were? Um, as in, you know, it's the same challenge, but it's just a, a team of people. Let that do its business. And then... So in terms of power, all right. So that one turbine is doing fifteen k. Okay. Right. So what do we want to do next? I guess we should really go with logistics. But I'm tempted to get, you know, gun turrets going because logistics will give me the nanobots. Yeah, let's go in logistics. Um, I'm going to get this up and running, though, first, to be honest with you. What do I need for more? I need iron. Okay. playing um, Satisfactory yesterday, well, streaming it obviously, but also I did I played it as it were, because <laughs> um, the whole Fixmas event is there, you know, they brought that back again, um, and I was, um, I didn't do it when it was on, I've only done it, done it once before I think, um, but I didn't, I didn't play it um, the first time they did it. Um, I was saying on that stream, I don't tend to. Hmm. I don't tend to engage with event type type things. You know, it's mostly because it's like I, I was sort of saying, you know, yesterday that how to put it. If I'm playing a game, I'll play it almost like exclusively. If you see what I mean. 
Um, I don't tend to... Wait, is that sensible? I've forgotten the design I did for the... <laughs> for the thing. Uh, for the... Whatchamacallit one. Because I had two... I think I had two... Let's get the power out of the way. Just to stop the distraction of that. Yeah, so we have one here making gear wheels. And then we can have, like, one here. And then one there. So this is making gear wheels. And this is making belts. Yeah, there we go. And then we've got... I'm going to need some more inserters, aren't I? And then we've got... So I'll have to have copper in there, iron, iron, and then that'll be copper, iron as well. There we go. That's vaguely like what I had before, except I need no. Oh. Mm, let's do one there, one there, one there, one there. Connect it up. I uh, need a box there. Make sure we don't go nuts. We put an iron, a copper. And that get one of them running. We'll go and get some more stuff. Oh, of course. We actually need to insert there. And that needs one there. Excellent. Team WDR is max eight players. Um... Uh, so world record is max eight players, no blueprints. Oh wow, they looked like they were well practiced and had everything planned. Okay, so presumably, I mean, a lot of stuff. Of course, you know, I've memorized how to do certain things just because, even if I wasn't deliberately memorizing them, I'd end up, you know, with them crammed into my head through having, you know, done them a million times, sort of thing. Um, so basically, they but they just memorize. You know, I can't imagine that being easy for, like, a, you know... Well, was, oh, that was dumb. Held the wrong button. Right, there we go. You know, for the sort of a purple science build or whatever. We need to get all of them made... Probably need to stick that coal in the box. Hmm, interesting. Uh, yeah, so, you know, presumably they just sort of memorise the build, as it were, for, um, you know, for what a build is for building a rocket. That must be quite... Quite painful if you get it wrong. You know, you just place something in the wrong place type of thing. I wouldn't want to be that that particular member of the team, you know, who <laughs> messed up the, the placement of the an assembler or something. Right, so a bit of iron in there, a bit of copper. A bit more iron in there. And grab them belts. Lovely jubbly. Do do do. I've got science rocking. Right. I'm going to need more of everything. Because, you know, it's factory and that's the name of the game. It feels a bit weird having the oil there. Right. More coal. Should have built more of them, shouldn't I? I already knew that from... I was hoping I could get away with it. But we need like ten of them. Because they're just too slow to do what we need, really. And then one of you. One of you. Oops. 
Bing bong bing. Right, so let's get this nano robot up and going. Not that I've got any trees for them to clear, because it's the main main thing is clearing trees. The placing stuff down is useful, but not massively so. Clearing trees is quite good then. Yeah, so let's get that on the go. Um Okay. How many of them have we got? We need more. Okay, let's put plenty in there. Get that nice and filled up. Grab some more of that. Stick it in the box. It's crazy. One guy built something and the next guy builds what was already being built and perfectly lined up. Wow. You say, it's Sounds like it's a lot of practice, basically. You know, you sort of come up with a plan and execute a plan, basically. But as as I was saying when I was, you know, doing the, the No Spoon one, that coming up with the plan is the thing I think would defeat me. I don't think I could... So I've got 124 belts, okay. I don't think I could come up with a way of... Oh, of course it's got shallow water on it. That's really loud, though. How did that fish get damaged? Is that a pollution effect, maybe? At no point have I shot any fish. Let, let the record show. Right. More stuff. Now, hopefully... Ten on the go. It will be less of a concern. So we've already got 260. Need some more coal in these. Yeah, I don't think I could get my head around um, you know how do you build a thing that only you know, that balances um, time against like production speed because um, you know, like with the more complicated science packs or like blue circuits or stuff, you know, my solution and I think the default solution of like a normal player, as it were, is, you know, just build more. Um, but building more costs more resources, for one thing, and... Took a while. Uh, one of them... Uh, costs more resources and takes longer, you know, so there's got to be a balance between number of machines doing things and um, and what you're getting out of them. And I say, I don't think I could balance that up. The only way I would know how to do it, I think, would be trial and error, which would take years. So they've got to be pretty, pretty dang clever, I think come up with that stuff in the first place and then as you say the symphony of, of av actually having to sort of put it all together fact, let's, let's chuck some more of these in see what they they do on mass well on mass So I'm glad it's animated. Uh, right, so we will top this up, which is bound to have run out. Oh. Yep. Do 
Do that. Put that in there. Take it out again. Like that. How many belts we got now? So we got that many. So if I put them back, stop it overusing them too much. Right, so we need to get coal to be a bit more self sustaining, first of all. Yeah, so I think I'm going to take, I say, I think I'll take the resources out of this way and sort of send them round. Except coal, obviously, which we'll, we'll take down this way. Um, one thing I do like about oh, so it produces like weirder shaped patches. Um, which, I say, seem a bit more interesting to me. I can't remember whether I turned the... You can, it, it will do like donut shaped ones. I can't remember if I turned them on or not. So if you put six on, we should be fine for a good long while. I'm not sure if I have enough belt. We shall see. So I'll take it in here. Like so. Is this going to be enough? I think we should be okay. Yep. So we need to power the actual miners up. Uh, oh. I'm not going to power anything up without uh, blooming some power palms. Them get one in there. Okay, so I need to actually. Miners aren't grabbing it. Uh, inserters aren't grabbing anything, so I need to do that. Oh, we're all like that. Hell here. Held the wrong key again. Uh, I'll confuse myself. Right. few more power poles if we're going to do that. How many? I want a hundred of these really before I sort of start working on it. Oops. Coincidentally hit E key at the same time. Uh, right, so what do we want now? Um, I guess we should start advancing military. So I'm not expecting any tax for you know, anytime soon, because I say hopefully, hopefully this was representative. There's no biters anywhere really near. Um, fingers crossed. Um, right, so we want a nano emitter, and then we want which one is it? I can never remember which one it is. Destroy trees in range. Yeah, so we want one of them. Well, let's get two of them, ten of them. Right, so I need to fill about this. There we go. How are we doing, power? I should be a okay. I'm more interested in saying, in, are the wind turbines even worthwhile doing? You know, would a field of wind turbines be a good, good thing? It doesn't look like it really. But then, it's probably balancing demand. I would guess. You know, like it does where it. You know, auto auto balances between them. I don't know if they are running at max. It doesn't seem to count them as um, power plants for some reason. Right, so that's military. So we should do turrets as well, just so that we're ready. Okay. 
Okay. I'm sure we've run out of resources down here. No, no. no. So let's do the two to one thing. And same here. As best we can. Do I take them and drain it out? Yeah, let's put that in. I need a bit more iron then. Right. So coal's backing up. Excellent. I think, yeah, I think them it just they're just max output all the time. Because if it looking at the power graph. That was quick. I wasn't expecting that so quick. Uh, right, so... Huh. Oh, I didn't know it did cliff clearance. Uh, right, so let's get landscaping, because that's really cheap. Um, not that we really want to need it, but we can start start down that road. Okay. Grab that. And we can make nine more. So that gives me a hundred of them. Okay. We're going to then need... Loads of everything. As per... Right. Smelting arrays. So I'm just going to do, you know, bootstrap style. So we'll just do one, one of each, basically. Um, just to get us properly up and running. So we'll bring the resources along here. So we'll, you know, Bing, bong, bing. Uh, might as well do steel then. Yes, yeah, so we'll have iron and copper and whatever. Along a whole bunch of belts here. Cool. And then might as well do it lined up with this cliff. So we don't want it any further over than sort of here. I mean this is too too long, but just trying to get the get the position basically. In fact I could do one of each, couldn't I, I guess? So I don't know if the explo explosive one might have been added since I last tried this out. So, uh, if I get a couple of them. Well, do I even want that, actually? No, I'm not sure I want to do that yet, because I don't want it filling in the recipes just yet. Right, so, the way I normally do this, and it is different to sort of the the kind of the norm is I usually have a, oops missed I mean I normally repeat the same thing like that like in all of my structures um, now what I would normally do is attempt to build these <laughs> as upgradable as possible but I've kind of found every time I've done that, that I've ended up moving the smelting array, so it's sort of a bit pointless, really. Um, but yeah, what I normally do, so coal down the outside, and then iron uh, ore down the middle, and iron plate down the middle. Um, and then we have another set of... Is that right? One, two. Another set of things, obviously, on this side. In fact, why don't I do that? 
that's a bit more efficient. And then we have, say, I guess it's actually probably going to be easier if that's the input side of things. And then that's the output side of things. So we want, in fact, I put those in the wrong place. Have I? One, two. No? One, two. Yeah. Um, so then we want... Uh, no, that is in the wrong place. Have I done that? Uh, so we want input there. Output there. Yeah. Don't know why I confused myself so much there. Uh, so that then is the basic unit of smelting. Which we then copy down. So we've got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. In fact, let's copy that up then. Save too much fanning around. Like that. And that should give us 48. Yeah, awesome. Do, do, do. Right, so we done. Bing, bong, bing. So that's steel. We'll do the sort of boosty ones, but I'm not going to do any more. In fact, I haven't even made an armor yet, have I? Technically. I never usually bother, to be honest, because it just goes in a chest eventually. But we could certainly make a submachine gun. A few more bullets in case we do get some unfriendly neighbours turning up. I like the shotgun. I know a lot of people don't. Um, I like the combat shotgun even more, but we'll get one of them on the go as well. Um, what else? We want a radar. Guess we should make some turrets for if we do get a visit. Steel's available. And then you've got this whole load of stuff here. That's been unlocked. We've got steel chests now. Right. What we need to do first, though, is kind of stock up a bit, I think. I was tempted to play this through before get rid of you, stick you in before doing the series basically, but because I never know particularly if someone if you're still there, Grip, I don't know <laughs> but I think quite a, quite a few people who've stopped by my streams have played through the game a few times, so they don't tend to there's no surprises in this um, for them, so I don't know how interesting it is, but so I figured we'd do the whole thing. What the heck? Uh, what did you do there? Oh, don't you have to have the nanobots selected, don't you? Isn't there another one? There we go. Right, I'm going to tidy this bit up. And then that would be down to there. So that's our first output. I generally do lane balancing. I know it's not kind of technically necessary. In fact, I need a few more. But uh, I just like to do it. I like, I like full belts, basically. Uh, did I? Yeah. So then we want that one there. No. I always get this wrong. First time. No. Is that right? And then one of them. That, I think. So it splits it up, separates, that's the outside, that's the other side, merges them together, yeah, okay, so blueprint that, okay, 
Oh. We might as well blueprint this. Like so. Yep. Uh, I'm going to get a blueprint back on the go. Pop them in. Pop this down here. Mm -hmm. Right, so what I then do, I overlap the coal basically. So there's multiple coming out of the same coal. Uh, belts. What are we going to need? We're going to need. Well, we're certainly going to need iron, a couple of iron, a couple of copper, or are we going to need a couple? If I'm just doing a starter. And I can add them on as extra. So if we just do iron, coal, copper, and then we need to do obviously a different, different thing for steel. Uh, is that? That's the input, isn't it? So we get rid of that. Yeah. And then basically we'll have coal coming this way. Splitting off each time. So we can copy that up. This is what I was saying about, I know a lot of people have standardised blueprints. In fact, I've not aligned them properly. And I really should as well. Oh, you idiot. Looking at the wrong thing. So that's the, yeah, that's the cull. So it's there. And there. Yeah. And then undergrounds for here. That was what something I really did learn in the no spoon thing is you need surprisingly little coal for smelting. I always think you needed quite a lot, but you really don't need very much at all. So yeah, just uh, in case someone, anyone's dropping in. It's new. This series is uh, using a set of what I'm calling minor mods. They're not sort of game-changing mods. Um, that add in a lot of decorative stuff. Um, the idea that I'm going to do a, as close as I can, given the limitations of Factorio, uh, an aesthetically pleasing build. What that means really is builds that kind of look more like factories than the normal. So not this, basically. This is, you know, what most Factorio building is. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing in any way. Um, it's how I build. But, you know, we'll be putting concrete down, like, everywhere. And, um, you know, generally making everything look more like a, a factory. I suppose, in a sense inspired by Satisfactory or some, oh, something like that. Um, where the build is, is more yeah, along those the lines of a or a, that's where Satisfactory excels really I would say with factories that actually look like factories rather than just a, a bunch of machines chucked on the ground, which Factorio tends to look more like. I'm saying not, not criticising in that in any way. But, um, yeah, we'll try and make things with, you know, proper walls around them and, and all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, now we've Now we're cooking on gas. Right there. Cool, so let's go and chuck this, because I think research has stopped, basically. But yeah, I'll be continuing this series, certainly, you know, at the weekends, uh, both Saturday and Sunday, with the exception of uh, the first few weeks. And in fact, thinking about it, and looking at my calendar, I think it's actually going to be really weird, the schedule. 
because I'm not going to stream tomorrow because I got my COVID booster. Um, and every time I've had a COVID jab, it's given me side effects. I'm just going to not stream tomorrow. No matter what, I'll just take a day off. But then next weekend, we've got our work Christmas due. So I may well not stream either day. It's on the Saturday, but I'll almost certainly be drunk. <laughs> so I may well not want to stream on a Sunday. So that'll be the 11th or 12th. So yeah, I probably will do then the 18th and 19th. But then it's Christmas and I won't stream probably either either of the Christmas weekends because Christmas is, and New Year's is on. Um, oh, I didn't grab the belts. Did I? It's on, uh, on the weekend. Uh, put a bit more in there then. In fact, I can turn that up. Oh. Yeah, so so that's the sort of aim of this series. Um, I'm then gonna, after Christmas, once it's all sort of settled down, I'll um, I'll start a second series in parallel where I try and like the things I've just made, or you know, or designed, will actually do them as proper. Why can I only build four? There's like proper blueprints. Press the wrong key again. Brilliant. What happened there? Uh, well, it's sort of a, a base in a book type series. Right, so we want to bring the things around here so I guess we could mine that direction it's probably going to be best um, but I'm going to want to pick these up and grab the edge of the patch so if we sort of put the first one there oops where does that end up mm, yeah that's okay I'm not particularly finicky about Max mining patches or anything, but first ones are fairly crucial to get a good flow of material coming in. Now, if this goes straight down, is it going to hit the copy? Yes, it is. Okay, so we want to go out a bit to wherever. Then we're going to want a similar. In fact, that's going to need a lot of these. We're going to need a similar sort of idea here. Which, uh, something like this maybe. Oops, like that maybe. And belts here. So where does that take us? So we want the copper sort of coming down. You can have multiple lanes, I would guess, to fill the belts. So we want a bit of space. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and then we can have the iron coming down there. I guess probably easier if I chop this off. Yeah, maybe. So this is iron. Oops. Helps if you get the belts the right way. This is copper. So, first one. So let's leave a bit of space there. Have that, so that's going to be our first iron belt. Uh, hmm. Do I put them on? Yeah, let's do just take that down there for a moment. That's probably it. Uh, no, that is a bad idea because we're going to need. We're going to need stone. No, no, let's just do them in the order I want to smelt them. We'll just sort it out later. Right, so that's going to be copper. We then want stone as well. Because I'm going to need a second iron line, obviously, for... for uh, for um, steel. 
So if I maybe slot... In fact, we could make this stone... Oops. In the middle. And then the iron could come down somewhere over here. Yeah, I'll do that. Right down there. And then stone, I guess. Uh, if we mine it downwards, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Pick you up now, I guess. Okay. Yeah. And then this can go over this way. Oh! That's the uh, nanobots kicking in. There are so few trees here, they've not had anything to do. So that's Steel Axe. Um, let's do... Hmm. I mean, we don't. I say we don't have wood, so having wooden floorboards is sort of a bit irrelevant. Let's get the lights on again. Right. So let me connect this to here. Okay, so that's kind of everything connected. Oh, I never put the radar down, did I? I think it might be a bit loud. Right, so I'll shut the radar down, finally. As you can tell... Unless I'm doing the speedrun one, I'm actually fairly lazy fair about the whole start of the game. I've just done it so many times. I kind of know know everything is going to be fine. Um, <laughs> no sort of need to panic, really, with the game. Um, I think people get... Especially when you've done stuff like set the biters further away and stuff. People get, I think, a bit panicked. the early game. Right, so let's get some of these being made. That was quick. Um, can't really do that. I mean, we should really open up green. Mm. Yeah, let's do green. Preemptively, I'll probably pause the research basically then. Um, I tend to I say how many belts have I actually got? Nowhere near enough is going to be the answer. I think my general approach with science is not to, because you can just like unlock like everything basically. Um, with red and green and what I tend to find happens is I get a bit um, or I, you know, I think new players in particular get a bit overwhelmed with everything they've then got to do so I think it's best to you know, pause the research and only build things sort of when you need them really so say we'll probably also of course they're not every oh yeah every drop of our resources aren't going into you know a rel relatively limited um, bottleneck as it were no that's the wrong word our resources aren't you know being spammed into science into built into being able to build things we don't actually need right so if I make a few more myself. I'm going to grab some from the top. I 
Uh, I found your YouTube channel. I'm going to steal your liquefaction design scale up to work in my base. There's no problem. I mean, um, that was kind of why, um, you know, I do. I'd quite like to do. Uh, you've heard me mention before, obviously, on the YouTubes. I tried to do um, YouTube for years, actually, and basically no one watched. Which I wasn't. The real reason for I, I've said this before. The real reason I was trying to do it was I had this, as it turns out, fairly mistaken idea that I might enjoy editing. And I kind of do. I think I'd enjoy editing, if I'm totally honest. And this is one of those cop-outs that people get sort of stuck on, in a sense, is that... Um, I wanna, People will, won't do streaming or something, because they're like... They're like, but I need, I need you know, um, high-level kit. You know, I need a really good camera. I need, um, you know... A really powerful PC and that sort of thing. Am I gonna? Yes, yeah, pick you lot up. Because we're getting. In fact, let's go and uh, chuck the iron in there and see how many belts I've got in there as well. But yeah, they get a bit sort of. Oh, well, I'm, I'll, I'll wait until I've got this camera and that sort of thing um, before trying it. But you kind of. It's it's a bit of a fallacy, you know. People say, "Oh no, you don't need don't need it at all." And you kind of you do need some gear, you know, um, and you know you get this thing where people, you know, they say, "Oh, you you know, you don't need professional gear," and and they'll do a video about it, and it'll be like the video's clearly been made with you know a thousand pound camera and stuff, and it looks amazing, and it's like, yeah, you, maybe you don't need it technically, but you know, your limit, your audience is going to be better, it's going to grow quicker and stuff. If it looks great to start with, it's just a fact of life. You know, people are, even the internet generation are used to television as a medium um, and films and stuff. And films do not look rubbish, you know. Um, you know, they look they look great sort of thing. And that's, you know, it's all, the production value is important. Um, and I think people, but people, but you don't need to go mega amazing. You know, that's the point. Where was I going with that? Oh, yeah. And I was saying with, with the editing, I said, I thought I would enjoy it. And it turned out to be something that I really struggled with. It took me ages to do even the simplest things. But I think a big part of that was, was I say that's why I was saying that, making that point, actually was because my gear my computer is ancient and it's having to do 4k video i actually you know i'm playing at 4k um and it's been downsized on the stream um does it mix it doesn't really make sense for me to hmm jump this over does it so if we take this down the middle again in fact, let's take it down there. But yeah, and I, I think... I mean, obviously, I've been a bit trapped with the old... Um, chip shortage as well. Because I, I really needed to upgrade a couple of years ago, and it was just impossible to find... you know, components even then, sort of thing. Um, oh! Always takes me by surprise that. Yeah, so we'll leave leave um, research for the time being. We could always do, you know, we could always if we if I feel a sudden need to do research, I can do the buffs. But, um, but yeah, so I think I need a. Well, it occurred to me that what I could do is downscale the videos first, so make them 1080p videos. Um, you know, to start with, basically. I'm thinking that maybe what I should do... Because I'm going to have to get iron for steel, but I could just hop it over. Yeah, that's what I'll do. 
How are we doing? So, if we can get this connected. Um, but yeah. I think I was making a rod from my own back, in a sense, with... Um, it's trying to... Oh, I didn't put all the power poles in, did I? It's trying to work with 4K video, and it becomes really stuttery and... As you expect, because it's a gigantic amount of data in a 4K video image. And, uh, so yeah, I think that's one of the problems I was having, that if you make even a small amount of editing, it really um, dies a death, basically. And so then you end up being really limited with your, your editing. The other thing, I've, I've gotten better at writing scripts, to be honest with you. I've been practicing that more than anything else. Right, so, where can we bring this power? If we sort of take it around the side there, okay. Oh, I'm going to need a load more of these, aren't I? But yeah, I mean, you know, feel free to pinch anything that's in the series. Say, I would quite like to do some tutorials and stuff, or at least, you know, concept design builds or something like that. Um, and that's why I'm thinking about doing the base in a book series as 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 that. You know, as in playing it through and doing the episodes, then almost repeating them on YouTube. Um, once I've worked out the design and all that sort of stuff. Oh, it's just one tile short. Brilliant. Okay. Right, I'll take this up here. It's actually my favourite, I would say, my favourite bit of the, the Mega Base series. Um, but with the slight irony that I did quite a lot of it off stream. But, but my favourite bit was the designing the builds. Um, and I kind of figured that would be either too difficult or too boring, I guess, to do on stream. But actually, I think it was the most interesting bit. And I did loads of it off stream. Uh, where are we going with this? So if we go up here. And then... I, I might as well pick all this up then. <laughs> Love the thumb there. Which... Uh, is that the the Mega Base one, you mean? Or the... I really that I mean that that's been a revelation in a sense. I absolutely love making those stupid thumbnails. I, it's really fun doing the little. I mean, it's call it a call it a photo shoot, shoot. I mean, it's literally me propping, you know, my cheek camera up on a on a thing and <laughs> making stupid faces at the camera. But um, I really enjoy doing that. And they are, I mean, they're, they're rubbish, but they're, ru I think they're rubbish in a endearing way. I don't, I don't know how you feel about them, but, um, all them, you know, where I'm doing the, hmm, type pipe, that's, that's really fun to do that. It's, uh, there's a really, the, um, the, um, uh, the no spoon ones, I think are even better. They're a bit, they're a bit abstract, if I'm honest, but, um, Oh, wait, did I... Oh, I've run out, haven't I? No. Why did I put those in as ghosts? Um, yeah, they're quite... They are proper stupid. Um, <laughs> let's say I've, I've... You know, I've found that that's really fun doing that. Um, uh, right. So, we've got a tiny amount of iron, uh, iron ore coming in. Oh, I haven't connected that, have I? So let's connect this if I've got enough belt. And then we might be making iron ore in bulk. Who knows? Uh, fix it in the next Mega Base series. Yeah, so, I mean, I did enjoy the, um, the series, but it did get... And it was exactly the thing I was worried about. Um, at the end, I was just fatigued on it. I was just worn out, basically. Um, 
because I, I mean, I only showed about, I, in terms of the streaming, I only streamed like, I don't know, not even half of it. Because um, the outposting, as you know from the, you know, the end, end, end of it, the outposting just became so tedious um, and so uninteresting. Um, but you know, I, I ne you know, I've learned that 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 problem, you know, learned that that's a thing. That's the problem, as it were. So I know not to do that next time. But but uh, but yeah, it's sort of a. It's the problem is it's like. Why did I fill that in? I didn't want to fill that in. What I wanted to fill it in was this. The problem with them, in a sense, is that. Um, It's such a gigantic amount of work to build a mega base. Even if you're, you know, the greatest expert in the world, I'm sure you, you know, you're not going to do it quickly. Even if you, you know, even if you're copying someone else's blueprints and stuff, it's a long process. As you know, I mean, you, you know, I don't know how long you've been working on yours in Creative, and Creative gives you a whole load of shortcuts, you know. Um, uh, I've only got eight of them left. Right, so we're going to need... I didn't make a million inserters I need, did I? That was foolish. Anyway, we've got coal coming down. So I'll start try, trickling some of that in. Uh, let's go and see how many belts we've got, because it take ages to make all of them. Uh, let's go this way. We're out of iron, are we? Wait, did I select engine? When did I select that? That must have been an accident. Anyway. Right, how many belts we got here? 235, okay. Oops, I only got a tiny bit of iron for you though, I'm afraid. A tiny bit of iron. Okay. Might have killed those other ones off slightly too early then. What are we doing? So make a load of inserters. Can I put a few more of these in? Get some more iron flowing. Yeah, the um the first of the spoon one goes up um, on Tuesday, um, and they basically run up to Christmas. Then, uh, you know, to a week sort of thing. Um, I say it's it's got my favourite favouritest so far of my stupid thumbnails. But, um, where are all these trees then? Where are oh, there's trees over there? Because we're going to need a load of power poles. Okay, so if I if I what what order's best to do this in? Let's go and see if we can get a bit of iron being made in the smelter. So we need to put some inserters on. In fact, we might as well pick these up if I'm going to stop the other one as well. So get this flowing as well. Got a trickle of coal. So you can put the, just just put the top end in basically. So we need we need these two belts, uh, these two inserters. Even if we don't put the outputs on, but we will. So do them. Let it make a bit of bit of iron for us while we go and find some trees. Also make it do some... Why is that? Oh, that's missing. Okay. And that. Okay. Yeah, I don't... You know, I sort of... I don't want it to sound like I think Twitch is bad in any way. <laughs> I really don't. It's, it, it's way, 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 way better for streaming. 
Um, but I also like watching YouTube type videos, you know, so I want to make some of them as well. Even if it's just like, you know, one or two a month something. Um, why are you not doing anything? Wait, have I put that? I've put those the wrong way around, haven't I? Yeah, it's not in the blueprint though, it's just a man a human error. Right. And are you okay? I've not messed you up either. No. Okay, so we'll let that chunk away. Um and we'll go find some trees. And then we'll have some iron to make some more stuff with. So there should be trees sort of over here, I think. I'm guessing you'll increase the ore patches next time. I've been doing bits of mine on and off for months, but probably I could do what I've done so far in about three to four weeks. Okay. Yeah, I mean, say that would that's the big one. I think the you know vanilla is you know a challenge too far maybe for a big mega base. I think a relatively small one. Uh, is fine. Is this quicker than doing it myself? Wait, do they just they just destroy the trees, don't they? They don't bring it back to me. Ah, so we don't really want them doing that. In fact, it might be better if I use the. I keep forgetting. I'm I'm rubbish at this with. Some of these minor mods. We should really make some of the construction ones and then that'll be easier. Grab a load of wood. But yeah, it's, um, I say, Twitch is great. I've, you know, I've been really pleased that. There are some people like yourself who come back and you know watch the show, watch the show as it were, uh, or have it on the background and all those sorts of things. Um, way, way, way more than I ever got with the YouTube. Because I tried live streaming there, and literally, I mean, nobody watches because discoverability is atrocious on the YouTube. Like full stop. Right, so we can make light. Yeah, there we go. That's brilliant. Now oh, we're doing five o'clock. Okay. Um, I say, hopefully, at some point in the future, I'm tempting towards or ten, trending towards going like and getting like a pre-build. I've tended to build my own machines because then I can fiddle about with because they tend to be um, pre-build services are great but you're, you you pay a premium for them and I've not got that much money um, but even if you don't um, even if you use one of them they often tend to well you can get there are some where it's like the full lets you tweak everything but a lot of them it's um you know more economic or you get the better value if you um pick one of their um pre-designed systems And they tend to scale proportionately. So you you know if you get a super high end system, everything on it is super high end. And I've always tend tended to skimp on things. It's like I don't I don't care about the looks of a case. Um, so I'm perfectly happy with. If it, I prefer cases that you can work in, as it were, you've got nice room in, and 
you know, you don't scratch your hands up when you're working on them. Um, rather than them looking looking pretty or anything. Kind of better off doing the other one. Let's just do one more of these. That. So yeah, but what you tend to find is the pre-build systems, as you would expect, you know, they sort of go well. If you build, you know, if you're building a premium PC, then you probably want a premium case. Or if you're a skin flint, skin flint like me, then no, <laughs> you're perfectly happy with some square, some grey box, basically, rather than all the. RGB on it. Look at all this iron. Yeah, look at that. Right. Let's use it to make some inserters then. Termite ones. Yeah, I got the termite ones in there. I say I should. Oh, in fact, I should have bought built them then. It's, I think it's because I don't tend to, you know, I've played it through so often. Should I get 20 or so? I just crack on, as it were, and I don't think, oh, but I've got a mod that will do that for me. We'll cancel all of these out and get it to build us some of them. And then we'll take them out. They're not, they're not, they are, I mean, I have used them before in particular. Because uh, they are useful for clearing trees early doors. Because obviously you can use grenades and stuff, but um, they're quite useful just to wander into a forest and you know just kill it all basically. I was bought from PC World. He's for pounds a month for two years. Yeah, I so, I mean I'm not I don't I don't want that in any way to sell. I mean my first computer was bought from PC World as well. Um, and, uh, you know, it served me incredibly well for many, many years. Uh, great value for money. Um, it was a good system. It's just to say, I tend to be, I tend to go like super high end on some components and super low end on other components, um, which, you know, you can get the pre builders to, you know, the custom pre builders to do. Oh, it's like if you, you can go into PC World and you can buy a laptop nowadays that is, you know, it's got a, 3080 Ti graphics card in it, but um, that costs a lot of money, and I can't really afford that. Um, or you can go to these, you know, pre-builders, and they'll build you a case that is, you know, super high-end everything, um, and that's that's wonderful if if you can afford that. But I can't, so I'll tend, you know, I'll get like the best CPU I I can afford, but a not so good motherboard because motherboards aren't actually all that actually that important is is like one of the secrets um and the ram you know i'll get the best i can sort of thing um but then something like the power supply i'll just get as cheap as i can with the power and let's say the chip the case itself will just be you know a really cheap aluminium you know type job you know just plain basically um i say which i say is my way of Getting the most important bits that I need, as it were, at good value. But of course, you can't you can't buy GPUs. You know, they're basically basically like um, you know almost un unbuyable at the moment. Did these not go in? Oh, I haven't got it selected, have I? There we go. What do I need? I need more of them. We're seeing through them quite quite quickly. How many did I build then? Not many. Okay, let's get a few more on the go. Run out now, okay. I'll take over then. Uh, 
I should fill this out, I guess, more. In fact, let's go and sort of fill some of this out. So it's five o'clock. So uh, what I'd quite like to do is the steel uh, array as well. At least design it anyway. Right about. Okay. Can't build that many more. Uh, so if we have, say. Oops. Another row of miners here. Oops. So. One thing I am going to treat myself to over Christmas. It's partly because my dad just tends to give us money. I don't, I kind of don't want him to, but he tends to anyway. And, you know, he's not got a lot else to spend it on, type of thing. But, um, uh, is a, an Oculus Quest 2 headset? Um,. Because um, they basically just announced that um, what's it called? I don't, I, it's City Skyline, basically. Um, but it's uh, a VR, obviously a VR version. Um, so what I normally do with coal is something really convoluted, and I know it's not very efficient, but. Um, in fact, I might take you lot out because it's going to be tedious if I need to pick that up. Uh, it's basically double set. And we want coal here. And then that's that. So you need iron plate, don't you? That's what I'm missing. That's the iron plate coming down there now. And then that goes into there. And then we have... In fact, I normally bring coal down the middle, but if we got that there, I might as well grab that. We have coal coming in here. And... Why did I do that? Like that. And then that's the steel. Coming out of there. Probably not the most efficient of designs, as I say, but... I think I was saying before, I tend to build them completely different every time. Uh, so we want... In fact, let's just put those in. In fact, it doesn't need to be that far over, does it really? But... Nah, whatever. Whatever. And those two there. That under there. In fact, could I get away with... Yeah, I could get away with not undergrounding it, actually, couldn't I, for this this particular version. So we can do that. If we move it all over by one. There we go. So, these would be that one. And then, that still needs to be a long one. So that'll be that, that there. Cool, so if we're doing that is the iron plate again. The 
that can be those two. I've put that on the inside, haven't I? So I've put that on the inside there for a bit of, bit of symmetry, symmetrically, symmetricals. And then we want inserters there and there. All right, so we've got steel's going to be coming out in the middle. We need this iron plate to go down. That's... No. Yes. So that's coal. Why did I do that? So that's coal there, and that's coal there. Like that. And this is iron plate here. But in fact, let's stay consistent with undergrounding. Okay, so. <laughs> so it's fun to try things, new, new things, that's what she said. Indeed. Um, why is that not? Pressing something weird there. Why are you not picking up? How many of them have I got? Um. Let's just leave them for the moment. I'll make a hand load of them. Uh, right, so let's put some of these in. And I can really get the iron plate rocking. Except for now already. Okay. Let's put some of the belt in there. I think it's one of the reasons I've sort of... Oh, is that it? I've resisted doing... In fact, if we got a bit more copper and I can chuck it in the, the machines. I've resisted doing standardised blueprints because I sort of almost make new discoveries each time. You know, of better ways of doing it or different ways of doing it that are better ideas. It kind of makes more sense to... Um, Refine the design, you know. I think rather than completely restart each time, just say, right, well, why have I done it this way? You know, it would be better to do it that way. Right, so if we put a whole load of that in there, I'm going to chuck some copper in as well. so far. Oh, it keeps surprising me that when I run into the <laughs> shallow water. Ba -ba -ba. Let's make a few of them. A few of them. What we've got left of them. And then I think we're going to turn the nanobots back on. Which be them. Let's see what they'll fill out for us. Can't make any more, but can grab some resources. What we're we making. They eat through it too quick, really. <laughs> so I'm making a load of belt. Okay.
Okay, let's copy this down a bit then. Like so. Obviously, I mean, it's a pathetic amount of steel, really, but... Oops. So this is more about the stuff to get us bootstrapped. More than anything else. So we need one of those on that one. Tidy these up. Have I run out of power poles as well? Yeah. No. Nope, run out of nanobots. Who's missing an insert? Anyone? Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. And we're out again. Long handed. Is about one fifth of a belt. Um, it should be. Yeah. Because it's an, effectively a belt's worth of iron plate um, converted uh, into steel. So yeah, it's only about a fifth of a, a belt. But I say this is more about getting a bootstrap base running. Um, and if I was, I mean, if I was doing this, I don't understand why that fish has been damaged. Um, if I was doing this, you know. I wouldn't normally completely fill out the, the blueprint, basically. But I kind of figure. What the heck, maybe. Let's have a look at the power, actually, is not it? Oh, about halfway, okay. We can do that as well, then. Um, so we want... What do we want? We want two of them. Four of them. Some pipes. And an offshore pump. We'll get them going in parallel, basically. So I usually like to... Oh. You're back, are you? Me? You're back. I'd be better... You know, and I'd be better off, like, setting up a production thing for nanobots and stuff like that. But I say I'm not... I'm not fussed about us caning through the game or anything. Um... We'll only get attacked by biters when pollution gets uh, gets over to them, and they are quite a long way away. I haven't put pipes on here, have I? Um, oops. Oh, I didn't make any of them either. Get some of them. I could do it at work and hang the job out. Yeah. <laughs> I think that, yeah, that's a sort of... Sort of what I'm going for, I think, at the moment. I consider getting... Because I've already... It's already downloaded and stuff. Oh, why did I... Yeah. Yeah, I want them. Um, I considered doing the companion drones instead of the... Nanobots, but the nanobots feels a bit more um, 
realistic in a sense, I guess. Um, because they use quite a lot of resources, really, to, to make them. Whereas the companion bots, it's just like... Well, it's, they're like end-game bots that, you know, have... Um, you know, fuel and... Uh, what should we call it? Fusion, you know, power things and all sorts. And it's like, it's a bit... A bit OTT, really. How are we doing? So I need like a million inserters. Um. Hmm. Think I might. Oh, they're all used up anyway. Okay. Make a load of them. I think I might finish off the iron and copper. Kind of in preference to anything else. And then we need to think where we're actually going to put the bootstrap in. I'll probably go down here and see if there's any cliffs in the way over there. But this might be good or this might be good. Let's go and see what's down the bottom here. Don't really, by the way. Yeah, I, I, I knew you were joking, say. So. <laughs> um, are they the ones that look like Spidertrons without legs? Yes, they do, actually. Yes, thinking about it. Um, they're, only, they're only like small things. They're not huge. Um, it basically just gives you two free, like, floating... Yeah, they're like floating... As you say, they look like spy mini Spidertron tops, without um, without the legs on them, um, and they float around like um, you know destroyer capsules. So they they hover around you, um, and they zap out. So if you put down you know a blueprint, they'll sort of fly over and fill it out you know within a certain radius, um, and they make they do make everything a lot quicker. Um, but they don't have any cost effectively. They, they, you know, give. I mean, you could always throw the fusion reactors away, I guess. But um, with it, you know, if a default start to it, it gives you a couple of fusion reactors to power them. Um, and they also, I mean, they also have lasers on board and stuff. And it's literally just, it's almost at that thing of, well, why bother, you know. Why bother starting the game in normal mode, sort of thing? Why not just enable creative mode or something? You know, it's or use the editor or something like that. Because um, it's you know, it's just sort of completely shortcuts a lot of the manual process to it, which I you know, I'm not saying the same. I've played it through a lot, but I enjoy it sufficiently that. I'm happy to play it through each time, um, but I understand a lot of people. It's probably boring to, you know, drag your way through the the very basics each time. Right. So, is this going to be a good area for building? Yeah, I think if we sort of bring the belts this way, it's ages since I've had to mess around with um, cliff uh, cliffs, basically. Yeah, so if we sort of have them come along, the belts come along here. So if I get rid of these. And then we can go along. Yeah, that'll work, I think. So if we sort of have iron there. Copper there. Is that a good place, Ryan? Yeah, we can make the stuff here. Maybe the other way round. Yeah, okay.
Uh, yeah, seeing that one, it looks quite happy. Yeah, I say it's sort of. I mean, you know, it's sort of. That's fine. You know, it's fine. I don't. I don't think there's anything wrong with having mods that. You know, make the game easy or whatever. Just play it, play the game the way you want, sort of thing. But I say, it seems a bit redundant to have that sort of thing. You know. And then play it normally anyway. If you see what I mean? It's sort of. Um, it's a bit like I mean I say I don't fully understand uh, people who cheat in like multiplayer games. You know I can sort of understand it in some ways, but like the fundamental thing of. Meaning is in like you know Call of Duty or something. It seems a bit, always seemed a bit weird to me. Because if you're cheating to win, you know, and you're not good enough to do it yourself, then what is that proving? Um, other than you know how to cheat, you know, it's sort of like. So I don't, I don't play, tend to play a lot of multiplayer games, and it's partly for that I just lose all the time. Um, but if you derive you from from winning, I suppose maybe that's why they do it. Don't know. Just say it always seemed a bit sort of self self defeating in the sense that you're not really proving that you're any good at the game by cheating. Um, But it's like, you know, it takes all sorts, you know, it's sort of like, um... Right, let's fill the copper one out. Oops. Or if we... I don't think we can, can we? I doubt I've got enough. Well, no, don't make them. Right. That in. So I wouldn't normally do the full thing, but might as well. We're going to need it. No, not like that. No, it's clicked again. In fact, we might as well. We're going to run out, aren't I? Yeah, so we do what we can, and then I'll go and set up my sort of production, early game production system thing that I do. Okay, so some of them have got some stuff. So we want this coming down here. Oops, this coming down. Oh. Typical cliff getting in the way. No. Right, so this then is going to be copper. So, if I build, say, yeah, if we build the component -y bits here, I think. So, what we want, oh, I didn't even make any machines, blimey. Oh, so I say I'm being a bit lax, actually, to be honest with you. <laughs> being sloppier than I normally would. Right, so, um, if we, because what, basically what, what I'm going to do is my usual thing. Where basically I'll have an iron to get rid of all these. Uh, iron and it doesn't matter effectively what's where, but um, we'll do it this way. So basically, uh, putting machines like this, no power poles on either. Oh, I can make the ship already. Oh, no, no, that was just the labelling. Uh -huh. huh. Why was the icon available if I can't actually make it? But yeah, we'll have machines basically running up here. And then we'll have the... 
circuits and so we'll have wrong one we'll have uh, the combined pipes and gears there and the combined green circuits and um, steel there and then I just feed in whatever I want and put stuff into boxes and da -da -da. I mean this is not well it'll end up looking like but that's just in case you've not seen one of my spaghetti magnificent mag magnificos before uh, right, so what do we want? We want iron and so that's iron. Okay, in fact, it doesn't really make a lot of difference. But if we put, say, this here, always leave a bit of space, and then we'll have say, because gear wheels produce quicker, don't they? So we want that plus one. We'll just start this off with this. Uh, in fact, why am I ghosting them? Uh, so we'll just do so we'll just do a couple to get it running. But we do need more. And then we'll have iron coming up here. And then that's that one. And it was iron at the top, wasn't it? And then jump that over like so. So that's iron. And then obviously we need outputs on the outside, inputs on the center ones. Like so. So we're going to need more of everything. It's almost like it's the name of the game. Okay, and then leave a bit of space here. How much space? Uh, yeah, that. Mm, no, let's do another one. Like that. And then this is going to be the whole circuits and wires and all that. Lovely, lovely jazz. Need more of these. Can't make more of these. Brilliant. Just use normal ones for the time being. And then, wait, got one too many. Uh, like that and then your green circuits and then we want oops we want uh which way around it's probably easiest if we do that as the output and that as the input so grab there oh, in fact yeah that'll do so this needs to be iron plate again Has it made me some of these? No. Have I even ordered some of them? No. Okay. Oh, I can't make them. Right. So this is then copper. No, other way around. Like that. So we've got green circuits. And obviously I've blocked myself in. So maybe if I switch that. So that's the gears. Then I have that as the thing there. Like that. And this needs to be steel on one side then, doesn't it? So. Okay, so we need steel there. Oh, we could 
slip steel through that gap, can we? Nice. Obviously, it's not aesthetic particularly at the moment. <laughs> Just come off of those nice spoon runs. Might take you a week to get your chill back. Yeah. Oops. I was thinking about the other day. It was really quite intense doing it. I know that sounds bizarre. But, um, yeah, it was quite, it was, you know, quite stressful, I guess. I say it sounds weird saying that, but, um... Right, can I put some of this stuff in and start actually making things that are useful automatically rather than... Uh, rather than handcrafting every single thing. Oops. Okay. 170 bell. Is that going to be enough? Uh, put that in there. Obviously, nothing's got power, but we can see. Oh. Oh, I can't make them yet, can I? Idiot. I did. Sorry, I, I never really. I was going to say there were rec like requests. I guess probably too strong a word, but some people mentioned about making the blueprints available for the mega mega base stuff. Um, not massively keen on that, if I'm totally honest, because I'm not. I liked the big bigger builds. Um, as you saw at the end, it didn't really quite work, so I'm not sure what value is in some of that. But so I would quite like to do a a thing where you know, like the a plastic build is you know available for people to use, sort of thing. Um, but so I think I'd need to have another go, you know, like a proper mega base scale type of thing. Having learnt everything I've learnt. Um, don't really need that in there, do I? In fact, let's just turn this off and we'll stick. Oops, other way around. Right in there. I do need some of this. Should I start another research? Because I need to make them. Right, can we get some iron flowing and copper flowing into this system and actually start making a few inserters, etc. How many power poles have I got? Might run out of power poles. Okay. Um. Okay, so let's put the last couple of these ones in. And then hook the power up. Um let's bring the power down the middle. I'm gonna run out of these, aren't I? Actually if I No, I wanna pinch it off of here because we'll probably make some stone brick stuff just at the end there rather than on this sort of um, mall type thing. Ooh. 
How are we doing? So, some automatically produced circuits and pipes and stuff, rather than me handcrafting them all. Amazing. The wonders of technology, eh? The wonders of technology. Right. What are we going to make first, then? So, um, let's pick all this up. Give it in a good place. Uh, in fact, that's quite a good place there. Right, so I guess first should be, you know, belts, maybe. Since they're the big boy. And normally, I mean, we could make automate the production of undergrounds and stuff, but you tend to end up with a situation, I find, where you end up, like, capping them at so low a level because you're worried that all your resources go into them. They're not... It doesn't, like, save you a lot of time, really. You know, you're better off having a chest and sticking you know, belts and stuff in, or circuits and stuff in. I can't, I'm not going to do it at the moment because steel will be on this and we don't want a double double chest thing. But um, So I think we'll just make belts and then I'll handcraft, um, you know, the other bits as it were. Same with inserters. You can, you know, get it to feed them in. Obviously, that's what I'll do eventually. Um, but uh, it's not almost not worth it at this stage. Is my general feeling on the matter. And then we want... Oh. That one. There we go. I want loads of belts. Millions of billions of belts. And then we want... Inserters. I say, now that we've got this up and running, this is where I can kickstart science again. Because now I can... I've got the means to make things for science, from science, for science, as a result of science. Um, uh, this needs something else, doesn't it? That needs gogs. Okay. In fact, I might do that there. And I'm fully covered. In fact, put that there. Right, what next? Um, we should make like pipes and underground pipes again because um, it's just we'll end up using so many of them for um, thing. We might have a proper supply of them rather than robbing Peter to pay Paul. Have I got them? Yeah. I'll need a few more of them. I can't make them because I need skirkits. Uh, chests there and there. Put you in there. Obviously, we need fast inserters on quite a few of these, but. You know. Right back there. One of them. You. And then we want to limit that at, say, four. Do two actually. Right, next one should be assemblers. Have I put this too close to that rock? No, we'll be okay. Rock, cliff, I should say. Right, so let's make one of these. Making one some of them. Uh, iron plate, gear wheels, and circuits. Circuits, gear wheels, iron plate. And we want, say, a stack. Oh, stack of them. What next? I guess uh, mining machines, maybe? Uh, which is the same basic stuff. That stack of them. Have you made me some? You've made me some. Thank you very much. That's very kind. Some of them. Did I limit both of those? Yep. Then what? Then we want maybe something a bit more off the wall. Perhaps we make repair packs and that's when I start making these automatically. Yeah, go on then. Let's make some repair packs. We obviously want 
ammo and all sorts of stuff. But with this setup, it's quite quite quick to just make everything very quickly. If you see what I mean. Um, so put them like that, like that. One of you there. Which one am I doing? Construction ones. Okay. Any alarm belts? Oh. Hello, Mr. Spaghet59. How are you doing? Sorry, I didn't see your comment. I don't know if you were <laughs> a little while back, but uh, I'm doing okay. How are you? How's your uh, weekend going? If it is weekend, wherever you are. <laughs> uh, right, so I need some insert. Oh, I don't really. But let's grab them anyway. And then we've got a bit of that. What am I missing? Iron plate. So I'll set some chests up for these in a bit when. When I've got filter inserters, so this needs circuits and cogs, which is what will be there when they catch up. In fact, let's go and boost that up now that I've got some. How are we doing on power? Oh, we're okay. Uh, so we want more of them. Always want more of them. Uh, let's say it's. So it'll be wimpy until we get, obviously, far... Oh! Did I not grab some of them? Okay. Until we get... Uh, fast inserters. So we need to kick research back in, but I don't think there's any... Any stuff in them chests anymore. Oh! Uh, oh, didn't mean to do that. I, it's one of my, I, one of my bugbears is that particular command where you take take the wires off with a control. I find it quite annoying. Um, one of them. So a few more cogs coming in. Yeah, in fact, let's let's see if we can do get ourselves towards fast inserters. We need electronics first. It's only thirty. Have I got? Um, in fact, I'll clear them out of clear them out of the smelters rather than off the belt. Ah, oh, this has not got. Uh, looks like I've not got enough for them. We'll get a load of nanobots quite soon, so. Right, let's chuck this iron and copper into the assemblers over here. Get science back running. Get fast inserters. Da, 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 da. Uh, so I'll grab these as well then. No, got that in the wrong order. As per. Should I set the green circuits up as well? No, I think we'll leave. In fact, although I need them for. Oh no, no, red is faster than so it's okay. Let's uh, go. Three to one. That's fine. Okay. Right, so we're starting to get moving again. Um. What are we looking for? So, obviously, steel. We're not made any steel yet, but I don't. I don't need any yet. Um, this has not got. It doesn't matter because it's the stone. Is anyone out of fuel? Oh, this looks like this is probably missing. Here we go. So that's missing the inserter there. In fact, most of these are missing. 
I guess it's the only sort of downside to the nanobot one. It sort of does them a bit randomly. So you just have to sort of either wait for it to do them all or fill them in yourself. Right. How are we doing? So it all needs boosting up and stuff, but, you know, we need to make things to make things to make things to make things, as per usual. Don't need any of them. Always need them. Let's make sure we've got at least a stack of that for when that happens. Leave that to chunk away. Have we got a few miners? Lovely. We can go and add some of those on. Lots of assemblers. That's what we're really after. Right, what next then? So got I guess we could make power poles. I like to move to medium ones as soon as I can. So I think I'd rather just handcraft the handful that we need. We should really make power because we're going to hit a wall very quickly. I could make wind turbines as well, couldn't I? They're not too bad, them, I don't think. Yeah, so we'll make boilers. I'll just do them with a you know, chuck them in the... No, in fact, we'll make boilers over at the stone brick area. Will we? Hmm. Let's make steam engines anyway. Oh, that was quick. And fast inserters, please. I didn't select research because I'm a Blanca. Right. And we have got... Let's say I'll make the steam engines. Uh, so we need iron plate, don't we? We need loads of them. Cap that to a full set of steam engines, I think. Should I make. Because we would not, I wasn't in planning on put, bringing, you know, stone down here, and probably not brick. Because brick, we obviously need really to make um, walls is the key thing, and also stone floor. Should get some stone floor down actually. Um, in order to, I mean, the stone's not actually coming down here yet because I need to fill out the belt. So the other option, yeah, let's just put it on here, and I'll put, a, I'll just put a manual chest. With um, you know, with a few stone furnaces in, and then we can make them over there, and I'll just chuck some in, because we're not gonna, you know, you only need twenty for a full line of, full line of furnaces, so I'll just do that instead. So in that case, what I'll do, we'll make uh, wind turbines. Oh, I need copper cables. Okay, okay, so we'll make copper cables here. In fact, hmm. yeah, go on then, let's make, I said I wasn't going to, but we'll make some wooden power poles as well then. We might as well, if we're going to make cables for them. So what do you need? Oh, I've put that too close, haven't I? What an idiot. I need that to be there. There we go. Oh, I'm not, I haven't made any lights yet. In fact, if I research lights? Uh, so let's do, I don't know, a couple stacks of them. So this is... Come on. This is turbines. This is... Cables. This is... Wooden power bars. That's there. That's there. This is why I put um, copper on this, because I tend to make the cables locally for the handful that need them. Except I've put the wrong inserter on. <laughs> uh, right, so wooden power poles there. So you need wood, and I'll just do a manual chest of wood then. I'll keep a little bit for wooden boxes. I never tend to use iron boxes. I, I, I find them... It's a bit like burning technology. 
I just find it redundant. Oh, it needs iron sticks as well. That's annoying. That's very annoying. Does it need iron plate? It doesn't. Oh, it does. That's quite a complicated recipe then, isn't it? Um, okay. In that case, we will stick one in here rather than re-pick it all up again. Well, so we'll leave that for a sec. So do that, that, that. Don't tell me you need copper as well, because I'll be very annoyed. Gears. I haven't got any long handed. And you need to be sticks. More than a little inelegant, that. I'm not sure I want to pick it up again. Right, yes, so you're making power piles, but I don't need a million. Thank you very much. Right, what next then? Oops. Okay, so. Da -da -da, got everything there. Oh, ammo and turrets and etc. Let's make... Oh, I can set them up, filter inserters. Have I got everything either make... Oh, lights we could do as well. Is there something else that uses cables? There isn't yet, is there? In fact, having said that, I think I'm actually going to... Because this is an abomination. So we'll turn this into lights instead. Uh... Oh, there we go. So we need green circuits and iron plates instead. That's better. I'm happier with that. Because then we can make the... Um, how am I going to arrange that? If I arrange that like that, is that right? So this is iron sticks. Wait. Uh, right, so. What do I do? So this is going to be cables then. This is going to be wind turbines. You're there. You're there. You want that. You also want that. That there. And then I can basically leave one for rail. Or something else, you know. Maybe, in fact, probably end up being power poles, I imagine. No, let's not, let's not preempt it. Let's not preempt it. What else do you need? You need gear wheels. Why are you not? So you got them. Why are those not being put in? I get, well, I guess there's none of them. Oh, and there's none of them either because they're not being made. There we go. So what have happened is that basically all of the self-buffered, you know, the machines are basically full. Why have you not made a single one of them? Because you, oh, you need iron sticks as well. <laughs> Would help if I looked at the recipes properly. Let's just leave that as power packs then. And I'll come back to that point. So we can always grab power packs, repair packs. I can just hand make some of them. What a dumbo. Yeah, so it'll have been basically run out of iron, iron ore because there's very few miners supporting it. So if we just grab some of them now.
we can go and boost up at the other end. How do you know what two so It's ten to six. It's very com that's like the flip side to it doing it fairly randomly, is that ones you've missed, it's really good at filling out. I should have millions of belts now. Seven hundred, there we go. less useful on things like this. I guess I could tab out. Okay. Might as well fill these out since I think I think we've got enough. Okay, I've missed one belt there. Might as well stick a balancer on just to make sure both are sort of flowing reasonably okay. Get rid of that. Uh, should we fill this in? Uh, yeah, so it's coming up to six o'clock. Uh, got a fairly hard deadline today. Gonna have to stop, but six is my usual stopping time anyway. Although I often drift beyond the end of it. Um, but I'm going to have to stop today as I have an, an important appointment. Uh, would normally be back tomorrow. Uh, but that appointment is a booster jab. And there's a very good chance, given past form, I was going to leave that wood for boxes, wasn't I? Given past form that I will have a side have some side effects, so uh, I will not be streaming tomorrow. Um, I will also not be streaming next Saturday. Or well, I say that it depends on if the company it's my work Christmas do next Saturday, um, and so the company at the moment has said it's still going ahead. Um, but if government advice changes, we may well not go ahead. So if I'm here on Saturday, it's because the work due has been cancelled. Um, if I'm here on Sunday, it's either because the work due was cancelled or my hangover wasn't as bad as I was afraid it was going to be. So it's going to be a bit random the next weekend. Finally got some lights, crikey. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit random next few weekends, but after that, I'll have a proper weekend again. Uh, where I am, in fact, let's start making them some of them. Can I? I can because I can make. Yeah, I can make some of them. And we can start putting some of this in boxes. Super. Right. So one of them. And there. Uh, yeah, but I mean, this is going to be a long-running series. We're not, we're not going to be finishing this anytime soon. Um, the idea of the series is to um, end up with a some basically it's going to be factory towns style, um, and they will be as best as I can make them uh, attractive, aesthetically pleasing, however you want to phrase it. Oh, I need one more. In fact, I don't need that, do I? No, we're just putting cogs in there. 
But it won't get there for a while. We're not there it is. We're not gonna end up with a mega pretty base within weeks, sort of thing. As I say, it's um fairly long term goal. But I'm gonna do it as a full playthrough anyway, just you know. We want iron uh, steel rather. Cool, get some lights in. Yes, so say so we will um, return at an indeterminate point. <laughs> How's that for scheduling? Um, how are we doing? So it's very nearly six o'clock, so I'm gonna have to fairly, fairly aggressively cut it off. Um, how, about we, how about we get the nanobots to fill out what they can here? Uh, yeah, so if you've been watching, hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, you might consider coming back for another one. Uh, I say it should be two weeks' time, if not next week, uh, but certainly not tomorrow. Uh, Monday I will be streaming Dyson Sphere program, though. That will still go ahead. Um, and Friday's Satisfactory should be no problems either. You can actually see them flying out, but they're really difficult to see. Anyway, yeah, so that's it for this week. And uh, <laughs> this is gentle. So do I hope that's a gentle. Um, uh, and yes, I have a I have a YouTube channel. Um, uh, you're doing my job for me there, Grim. Blimey. Um, yes, you can find my YouTube channel. It's Triggles. It's is the sort of what you're looking for, the alias. But it is actually Trismegistus as well. But um, I know it's very difficult to say that. I just I couldn't change it on Twitch. Um, they don't let you do that. So it's uh, Trismegistus or Triggles. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter, where I post um, to say when I'm going live, basically. Um, yeah, so, so if you've been watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and you might consider coming back for another one. I've been Trismegistus. This has been Factorio. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>